All right, I got the cap uh, stand all assembled here. It wasn't the most easy to assemble. Probably took two hours. I did put the posts on the wrong side and I had to redo it. And what you want to do is make sure you compare these circular things where you hang your weights from like I have here. And make sure you have these on the outside. The bottom posts have to be situated a certain way for that to occur. And the instructions, you basically have to use the pictures to put it together. There's not a step-by-step, -step, do this, do that. There is somewhat, but it's kind of grouped together. Um, it looks pretty good. I had a ratchet that sped up the process. It says a wrench, and it does come with the Allen wrench, and it wants you to use your own regular wrench, which you could, but that would have taken forever. So I had a ratchet that uh, could help with those types of bolts. The height, it's, it is tall. And I have it in the garage here, and you can see how much clearance I have over the garage rails. And I'm pretty tall, and uh, I could see if you had this inside that you don't have very much height to do um, a pull up much over this. You can do it. Um, I'm I'm six two, six three. I mean, so you can see my, I have no problem touching the, the bar, no jumping or anything like that. I have to pick up my legs to do a full extension pull up, which is fine. I didn't buy it only for that. Stability wise, uh, I mean, it's going to sway left to right, but I don't have any concerns about it failing or anything like that it's rated up to 300 pounds and I'm I'm certainly not 300 pounds myself <laughs> uh, I can't bench 300 so I think I'm good with this for a while ever <laughs> probably uh, what else can I tell you these I think they're more of a safety Harness, harness, uh, I don't know what you call it, but brackets, safety brackets if you're bench pressing, you want it to fall on you. You don't have to have these on. They're, they're a little, they're fast to change, but they're a little wiggly. Here's the main brackets for bench and squats. I mean, they're good enough, they're, they're stable. I'm not going to be putting, again, 300 pounds on here. The only thing I could say is if you got close to it, got a lot of practice, if you did, like a weight vest pull up with your whole body plus the weights. But again, that would be, that'd be impressive. <laughs> Very impressive if you could do that. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. As far as depth, I was concerned about the depth because I didn't want to use my garage for emergencies for car, for a car. You know, I think if you take all the weights off and you push it away a little bit back, you have room, it could be okay that way. Perhaps I could even drive over the top of it, I don't know. But uh, it is big, it took up a chunk of the garage. I'm privileged to have the space that I have. But uh, it did stick out more. The one thing that I kind of knew that, but I also, one thing I got a bit surprised about is that if you're doing a pull up, um, I'm not even talking about the CrossFit kind of wild pull ups, but you no, know, the kipping, you're gonna, you're gonna bang against the wall a bit. I got a window here and I've already kind of put my legs into the blinds here a bit, but I guess that's something you just have to be a bit more careful about um, the bar stable enough 
or I'm confident in the bar rather. I was using this this one which works better inside on a door. And I just kind of had it on a ledge which if you're careful it works but it's not safe at all and it is a bit high for everyone else. For me it was okay but uh, why have kids it's dangerous for everyone. <laughs> so it's one of these things about home gym it's it's going to take up some space it's cool to have it uh here i don't have to go anywhere but i'm kind of wondering is it was this this wasn't the cost and it wasn't the time putting it together but now it's a bit of i lost a bit of space where i could be doing some you know more running and lunging activities um was that space trade-off worth it? So we'll see. Kind of knew a bit of that before I bought it, but we'll see how it goes. Thanks. All right, I got the cap uh, stand all assembled here. It wasn't the most easy to assemble. Probably took two hours. I did put the posts on the wrong side and I had to redo it. And what you want to do is make sure you compare these circular things where you hang your weights from, like I have here, and make sure you have these on the outside. The bottom post.